हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एनजी क्लासेस यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर अ वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज इन सिग्नल्स एंड सिस्टम्स इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी शेल कंसीडर अ न्यूमेरिकल लेट वाई ऑफ टी एंड एक्स ऑफ टी आर एज गिवन द टास्क इज टू स्केच जेड ऑफ टी व्हिच इज इक्वल टू एक्स ऑफ टू टी इंटू वाई ऑफ वन बाई टू इंटू टी प्लस वन सो दिस इज एक्स ऑफ टी वॉट इज द फर्स्ट टास्क द फर्स्ट टास्क इज टू स्केच एक्स ऑफ टू टी सो लेट मी कंसिडर स्केचिंग एक्स ऑफ टू टी फर्स्ट so there are operations uh, these are called as uh, operations on independent as well as dependent variable so we'll understand that concept also so now uh, let me call this signal as x of 2t so this uh, let me uh, let me consider x axis and y axis over here and now i would call this as x of just a minute yes let me call this as x of 2t x of 2t so the, this is the operation on independent variable time so there is nothing uh, happens uh, to the amplitude 1 uh, so that will still remain only thing is the width gets reduced by a factor of 2 uh, so here uh, the limits are going to be 0 and this will be uh, 0.5 this will be 1 and this will be 1.5 because uh, the factor is 2 uh, so this signal gets reduced by 2 so this is 0 by 2 and this will be 3 divided by 2 so to get the limits of the new signal which are going to be 0 to 1.5 so that is what i got now so now moving further the shape of the signal would remain still the same so as it was earlier only thing is it got reduced by a factor of 2 uh, so this is how it is going to look now yes almost done so now this is going to this is this signal is going to be x of 2t so what would be the amplitude as i said it is still going to be 1 because we haven't done anything to the amplitude that is dependent variable whatever we have done it is only with respect to independent variable time So this is the first task. What is the next task? Next, next task is I need to sketch y of one by two t plus one. So how do I sketch this? There is scaling operation. One by two of t means there is scaling, and plus one means there is a shifting operation. So I have to perform as per the precedence rule. The precedence rule says first I have to do shifting operation, then I should go for uh, uh, time scaling. So let me consider that. So let me just get the x-axis and y-axis. Yes. Let me call this as y of t plus one. So as I said, I'm going to consider time shifted version first. So this was earlier. This was minus one. This was minus two. So this is where the signal, original signal, existed. So now to get the limits of the new signal, I have to add. Minus one to the extreme limits. Why minus one? Because I need to compare that with standard signal, which is y of a into t minus b. So what is b here? This is the shift. B is equal to minus one. So hence I'm I have to add minus one to the extreme limits to get the limits of the new signal. So what what are they going to be now? Zero minus one minus two. Minus three, so here it is going to be two minus one. It is going to be minus uh, plus one. So this is where the new signal would exist from. Is that okay? The same signal gets uh, shifted to the left by a factor of one. So that I need to sketch it now. Yes, let me consider sketching y of t plus one now. the shape of the signal as i said it is still going to be uh, remain the same there is no change in the shape of the signal only thing is it gets shifted in time axis to the left i'm almost done now yes this is going to be the shape of the new signal which we would call it as y of t plus 1 I hope you people are following it. If there are any doubts, please let me know them on to the comment section. So this signal I would call it as y of t plus one. What is the next task? I need y of one by two 
into t plus 1 so that means I need to scale the time now so that is uh, still left I need to scale that so let me consider after scaling I, I got y of 1 by 2 uh, t plus 1 I'm going to get this signal so ultimately I have to multiply that with x of 2t so I'm going to draw the new signal exactly below x of 2t so let me consider x-axis and y-axis again over here and uh, let me extend this further maybe till this point yes so now I'm going to call this signal as y of 1 by 2 t plus 1 which I was looking for so what is that going to be now it is this signal I it gets expanded in time by a factor of 2 so I need to multiply the extreme limits by 2 so what is that going to be minus 3 minus 3 into 2 it is going to be minus 6 and 1 into 2 it is going to be 2 so the limits of new signals are going to be minus 6 2 plus 2 so let me indicate those things here this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 here I'm going to get minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and it will be minus 4 and I need to expand this further Yes, this I'm going to call it as minus 5 here I would call this as minus 6 so this is where the signal is going to exist so what is going to happen the same signal it gets expanded with the time so the new limit is minus 6 so it gets expanded in a time so that I'm going to draw it now yes let me consider sketching y of t plus y of 1 by 2 into t plus 1 so let me sketch that signal now yes this is how the shape of the signal is going to be as I said I did not do anything to the amplitude amplitude was the dependent variable it would uh, still remain the same yes extending this till here this is how it is going to look ultimately I hope you people are getting this yes we are almost done now so now let me extend this till the point of uh, 2 and uh, take this to the point 2 yes so this is y of 1 by 2 into t plus 1 so now what is the next task the next task is only the multiplication x of 2 t into y of 1 by 2 into t plus 1 so ultimately I just have to get the final signal so now I am ready to sketch the final signal so let me just get x axis and y axis so let me call this signal now as z of t so I would call this as z of t what will be the limits so just write me uh, let me write the limit 0 1 2 and so on this would be minus 1 minus 2 and so on in between values also I would indicate this is a point 0.5 this is going to be 1.5 so the task is I need to multiply the these two signals x of 2 t and y of 1 by 2 into t plus 1 so if I check now from the limits from minus 6 till 0 though this signal exists there is nothing over here I need to multiply these two signals so what is the resultant signal it is going to be completely 0 so I don't get anything from minus 6 till 0 it is going to be a big 0 over here so now after that after that what I am going to get let me check that from 0 uh, till oh, uh, 0 till 0 0.5 this is the shape of the signal for this signal I am multiplying with a constant 1 so this is 1 and uh, the shape of that signal is going to remain that is from 0 to 0 0.5 so this is what I am going to get is that okay 0 to 0 0.5 so what is there from 0.5 to 1 it is 1 1 gets multiplied with 1 still I am going to get 1 that is uh, 
point five till one. I am going to get the signal as one. So this is how it is going to look now. So what next? So next is one to one point five. This is the decaying, decreasing signal, and that also gets multiplied with the one till one point five. Correct. So that I am going to consider now till one point five. So the shape of the signal is going to something like this. So what is there after after one point five? After one point five, this signal is zero. Though this signal exists till two, uh, the multiplication leads to zero. So let me consider. Uh, Sketching zero over here till plus infinity it is going to be zero. So ultimately the shape of the signal is going to be like this. So let this the amplitude be one. So this is the multiplication uh, wherein I have considered the multiplication of two signals wherein the operations of uh, dependent variable as well as independent variable I have considered. Whatever I have done earlier, x of two t it is an operation on independent variable. Y of one by two into t plus one that is also operation on independent variable. The moment I consider the multiplication of these two signals, it is nothing but the operations on dependent variable. So ultimately, this is how the uh, final signal looks like. Uh, in this numerical, I have explained everything step by step. I hope you people have understood. If there are still there are any doubts, please let me know them on to the comment section, and I'm happy to answer those doubts. Thank you so much for watching.